Okay, this lesson is the third and final installment of 3.2, and we're talking about surface area, of course, and we're talking about surface area of spheres, okay? Now, a sphere, if we dig back into the uh, handy-dandy bucket of three-dimensional shapes, a sphere is just a ball. It's a three-dimensional circle. Yes? Why don't they just call it a ball? Because it's a sphere. Why don't they call balls spheres? Ball. What, what's wrong with the beach sphere? Can hey, can you imagine? Sphere, yeah, batting around a beach sphere at the, well, at the lake. It's ball no, sphere. it's called a sphere. The te technical name sphere, ball is shorter, simpler, a little easier everyday English, right? But we have specific names for specific things, and this is actually a sphere. Some people, some people actually think that a sphere and a circle are the same. Well, it's, it's circular. Nope, it's three dimensional, it's spherical. It's a sphere. A circle is a two-dimensional round shape like that, two-dimensional on the paper. Okay, so a sphere, the shape of a ball, same shape. A ball has a spherical shape. All right, let's put it that way. All right, so a sphere is like a ball. All points on the sphere, now this is pretty technical, but this is pretty cool, watch this, are equidistant. Now that means equal distance, literally, from the center of the ball. So this would be tough to draw um, three-dimensionally, but if we had a point just, just suspended in space and I drew a, a line this far from the point and then in the same plane a line this far, the same distance from the point, but then in the other direction I went outside the same distance and then another direction the same distance and then kind of more towards me here in the same distance and all of these points if they were an equal distance away from this same point, three-dimensionally, then we would have a sphere. And all of those points at the end of those lines would be somewhere on the surface of the sphere. You see, this is kind of on the, on the back side of the sphere there, you see. This one is, is on the other side as well there. See? So, each point that makes the sphere is the same distance away from the point that would be in the very middle of the sphere, okay? Just like two-dimensionally, if we're talking about a circle, that's just that all of these points on the edge of the circle are the same distance away from the middle center point. Well, if you, if you put that into three-dimensional space and make a whole bunch of circles and fan them out different ways, right, you would have an a ball. <laughs> Not an eyeball. It doesn't look like You'd have ball. like a ball, like a sphere, okay? does kind of look like an eyeball. It does. But if you filled them all in, right, now you would have a sphere, you see? A whole bunch of circles, two-dimensional circles, in different planes like this. And you have a ball. Okay. So, the surface area. The surface area of a sphere, is, it's actually really tough to try and concretely show you uh, how this is, to tell you the truth. Um, I've done it different ways before. Um, I've taken like a piece of paper like this and wrapped the sphere in the paper and uh, kind of like squished up the paper like this and then um, throw it and then, no, not throw it at somebody. I'm throwing it. <laughs> like a comet. Okay. But no, like you do this and then look at, kind of cut this paper. Right? And then all of the overlap, like all of the all, everything that I folded over on itself, I can't use that twice. So I'm going to cut all that out. Okay, so this is really, really rudimentary and, and gross. But look at when this fans out, watch this, watch this, okay? So this is folded up onto itself. Okay, and this, this one too, kind of one more. Okay, so that's pretty close. Now, if I take the ball out of there and I fan this piece of paper out like that, it's very irregular shaped. But that represents the surface area of the sphere. Okay? That represents the surface area of the sphere. Now, you can't really see what I'm doing here, but just I'm just going to show you something. If I were to draw what would be a two-dimensional circle with the same diameter as the sphere, you see this? I'm trying to do this on the video and for you guys in real life here. But do you see how that circle on there is about the same right as that sphere it fits right inside there see that mm -hmm. so how many of these circles do you think would cover this whole paper 
About how many? Four. About, sorry? About four? Okay. Well, I mean, there's, there's one circle there. You could kind of have part of two, and you could have, like, another part of three, and another four over here, and then all the leftover parts could maybe fill these in. So you think maybe about four in total. Okay. Well, check this out. All right. You look down here. The surface area for this sphere with a certain radius would be exactly four times the surface area of a, a circle with the same radius. So four circles of this shape. So yeah, your, four, your guess of four was perfectly correct. Now, we could take our time and we could do this a little more carefully and we could do this on graph paper count all the squares and try and get to a real um, stage where we could, we could find the exact area and figure out if it is 4 pi r squared. But that's for another time. I just want to give you a loose representation here. Okay, so hopefully that translated a little bit uh, onto the video there if you watch it later. Okay, so the surface area for a sphere is 4 pi r squared. Can't get much easier than that, right? Pi r squared is a circle, 4 of them. That equals the surface area of a sphere. Okay? So let's do this one together. Okay, number 18. Find the surface area of a sphere with a radius of 1.3 meters. Okay, so I would, I would um, strongly encourage you to make a little diagram. Okay, and sometimes we draw a circle here to start our diagram of the sphere. And this is what we do to draw a sphere. Watch this. You draw a circle with a point in the middle. And then on one side here of the circle, you kind of draw a slightly curved line like this, all the way across. And then you kind of mirror that above the middle circle with a dotted line. And look at what that looks like. That looks like it's kind of gives it depth, right? Kind of a three-dimensional sort of characteristic. So the line is dotted in the back because we can't really see that line, right? And this is solid in the front because it's in the front. Does that make sense? Because it would be something you could see on the ball. All right. So, a radius. Now watch what I'm going to do with the radius. I'm going to go from the middle to a point on the side of the circle. Could you grab that door for me, please? There's some loud people out there. Thank you. Okay, so this is the radius of 1.3. Radius is 1.3. So you guys can envision that, right? Okay, 1.3 is the radius. So the surface area, we just learned that the surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. Okay, it's not cubed, it's squared, which kind of makes sense because we're going to have a length times itself, which is going to give us an area. That's going to give us the whatever units they are squared, right? So it's going to be 1.3 meters times itself. So it's going to give us meters squared. So the surface area of this circle is 4 times pi times 1.3 squared. So if we do that on our calculator, it's just as simple as that. And we just turn our calculators on. And 4 times pi times 1.3 squared. I can do this all in one row in my calculator. Maybe you can too. Is this what you got for a, a number there? You guys did it? 21.24, let's say. 21.24. And what's the units? What are the units? Meters. Meters squared. Thank you. Okay. So that's kind of hard to picture, it's hard to imagine. Like, what I really encourage you guys to do is when you get an answer to a problem, check to see that it's reasonable. Like, you should always check to see that it's reasonable. If you get, a, if you get an area of 0 0.75 and the radius is 1.3 and, and the surface area of the whole thing is less than that, then you know something's wrong, right? So you might have hit the wrong button on your calculator. If you get an area of 7,522, when we have a, a 1.3 meter radius ball. So that ball is kind of like, you know, this big, right? It's, it's 2.6 meters wide. So that's a pretty big sphere. 7,000 meters squared, that doesn't make sense. So think about how reasonable your answers are. That'll help. Okay, um, I want you guys to do number 19 right now. Do number 19, this one right here. All right, go ahead. 
All right, so that should be your answer for 19. How many of you got that for an answer for 19? Yeah? Let's get that. 1,932, okay? All right. Um, okay, let's talk about a hemisphere here. What is a hemisphere? It says right here. A hemisphere is half of a sphere. So if we're talking about... Look at... It's kind of like a semicircle, but it's, it's, it's a semi-sphere or a hemi-sphere. See, it's like half of a, a ball, like a dome, right? So how do I find the surface? Now, this is actually, um, this is actually a little trickier than you think. You guys watching? Would you do 2 pi squared? Well, that's a start, actually. 2 pi r squared is a start. Half the circle. Yeah. So think about this. You've got a sphere right and the total surface area of this whole thing inside and out uh, and sorry not inside and out but the whole surrounding outside is 4 pi r squared if you were to take that and zip it right in half and get and only take half of it oh, wait. you would have 2 pi r squared Don't however what are we missing if I just take this sphere and I cut it like this, okay, that's a good idea. Ra divide the radius by two. You don't have to divide the radius by two, actually. Good idea, but you can leave that radius. Yeah. You want to count the uh, surface area of the bottom. Thank you. Very good. You want to account for the surface area of the bottom, guys, because the two pi r squared is just the surrounding area of this top part. You see. So you have, underneath, you have this circle now that forms the base. So it's going to, the surface area is going to be 2 pi r squared plus 1 pi r squared. So it's actually going to be, if you're counting the base, it's going to be 3 pi r squared. Because you've got 2 on the top and you've got 1 on the bottom. Three times you sure can. Three, three times pi r squared. Okay. You bet. Okay. Now that's if you're counting the bottom. Okay. So if it's a cake or something, and you're icing a cake, you don't need to count the bottom. But if it's a, a hemisphere like this, just suspended in space, you should count the bottom. Well, more icing the better. I agree. But. Okay. So here's our answer for 20. Um, we actually have three pi r squareds here, two on the outside uh, around about the dome part, and then the area of the base is another one, so that's three. Okay. All right, so example eight here is very similar to ones we've already done, okay, but it includes these special shapes, the cones and the cylinders and stuff like that. So a composite figure is a figure that's made up of two or more sort of um, identifiable parts, like two or more specific different shapes, right, that are kind of like stuck together. Now the stuck together part is kind of the part that you have to be careful with because the base of this cone is not on the surface of this figure, right? So it has to be subtracted from the area of this top. If you find the whole area of the circle, it's kind of like a donut. It has to be subtracted from that area, okay? so. You want to find the area of the wraparound part, and I'll just draw a little net here. Let's draw a net, okay? That's the wraparound part right here. The top circle, okay, would be this minus this, wouldn't it? The bottom circle would be this, all on its own. And then we also have the cone part, and that's just the wraparound part of the cone. So remember, it kind of looks like this with a rounded base. Okay, so this one is going to be um, just simply length here, or the height, I guess. Let's call it height. Times, oh my, now what is this again? That's the circumference of the circle, isn't it? 2 pi r or pi times d. What am I given here? Yeah, you're actually given the diameter. Uh, you're given something in the smaller circle, which you're going to need for later, yeah. You're given, what is that? No, that's a diameter, it looks like. Oh, that's a diameter? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
All right, so there's that part. Now the, the circle, okay, the big circle is going to be pi r squared, right? And um, r is half of this, this is the diameter, so r is, what's that going to be, 5.6? 5.6, right, half of 11.2. So that's going to be pi times 5.6 squared. This one is going to be pi times 5.6 squared minus what? One? one? Mm, my, you gotta, you got to subtract the area of this little circle. Minus the diameter of the inner circle. Yeah, you got to do pi r squared for this one. That's right. So this is a diameter. Okay, no, it's okay. You could, you could just be nice to each other. So the diameter is 3.4. What's the radius? What's half of 3.4? 1.7. Okay, 1.7. So we got to do subtract pi times r, 1.7 squared. That's the area of this. Everybody see that? So we've got 1. I guess if we fill the numbers in here, this one is going to be pi times the, uh, sorry, the, yeah, pi times diameter, which we said was 11.2, right? 11, whoops, 0.2 times the height, which is times 9.3. Sorry, that's getting a bit busy there. But anyway, so we, you can fill these in a little bit later. Now, this one here is pi r s, right? pi times r, the radius of this cone, the cone base, which is 1.7 pi r and s. What's the slant height? Do we have the slant height? 8.6. Is that the, the slant height there? Okay, so it looks like 8.6. So you would have to add up all of these pieces, this one, this one, this one, whatever that one was, and this. You have to figure out what those values are, add them all up. So a composite figure is just like we've done what we've done before, except now we're using some different surface area formulas from the stuff we've learned. Okay? And so the solution, you should see some of the same stuff that we just did here. We didn't find out the, the uh, final answer, but it should turn out to be this number right there. All right. Okay, so there's two questions on this page, um, and then one more on the next page. So I'm going to do, I'll do the first one with you, and then I'll get you to uh, finish the rest on your own. So with this one here, again, this is going to take a little bit. So you need to show your work, okay? There's a lot of work for these ones, because we have to figure out the surface area of this hemisphere here. We have to figure out the surface area of this cone wraparound part, and the surface area of this pipe here, the cylinder. Okay? No problem. So let's say this is area one. So area one, this hemisphere. Now do we have to count the area of the base here? No. Is that exposed to the air at all? No. no. So it's just two pi r squared. Does everyone see that? The dome part? It's half of the surface area of the full um, sphere. So you see how the sphere would kind of like look like this, right? If it was fully drawn. So we don't need all of the surface area, we just need half of it. So half of 4 pi r squared is 2 pi r squared. Is everybody good with that? So 2 times pi times, what's the radius? Well, I've got 0.8, looks like it's a diameter here. Zero point four. Good, 0 0.4. Okay, and so what do we get there? Oops, I didn't put my squared there, right? Pi r squared. What'd you get? 1.005? Okay, so 1.01 is good. 1.01. And uh, that's going to be meters squared. We'll just keep that in mind. Okay, everyone good with that? Yes. Let's do this one, A2, here next. That's the pipe wraparound. So let's see, if we were to draw the net, it's going to be a rectangle. This, this right here is going to be 2 pi times r of this circle at the, that forms the end. And this is going to be the h. And here's the h right here. 
So area two, um, let's find out what, okay, so two times pi times, what did we say the radius was? 0 0.4, 2 pi r, and then h, 2.2. Does everyone see that? 2 pi r h. And we do not have to worry about the circles at the end because they're not exposed to the air. They're not part of the surface. Okay, mm -hmm. so just make sure you get what I get here to make sure I'm doing it right. Times 0.4. Okay, so 2 times pi times 0.4 times 2.2, let's see. Do you get 5.53? I got 5.5, yeah. Awesome. Okay, 5.53 meters squared, that's for this area 2. Beauty, we're almost done. Area 3 now. Area 3, you guys with me still? Mm -hmm. All right. So area 3, oh, we have a cone now. Oh, what's that, what's that part, this wraparound part? Remember what that is? Pi R S. Very good. Yeah, we just did that, didn't we? Very good. I think you guys are starting to remember this. Now, we don't need the pi R squared here either, do we? So let's just totally forget it. This is going to be easy. So pi times, what's the uh, R? Oh, we used that already. 0 0.4. And then the S. Are we given the slant height? It looks like we are given the slant height. So we do not need to do Pythagoras, right? Sometimes we have to do Pythagoras to find this, but we're given it. So we don't need to do the Pythagorean theorem. And then this should be the last piece we have to figure out before we add them all together. So pi times 0.4 times 1.4. Did you guys get this? 1.76 will go. Okay, that looks pretty good so far. So here area total is going to be 1.01 .01 meters squared plus 5.53 meters squared plus 1.76 meters squared. Okay, and that should be about 8.30 looks like. Eight. Okay. Um. Okay. So here's the thing. <coughs> Excuse me. So what I did was I left this big decimal on there. Uh -huh. I just used that as my answer because I was going to round anyways. Oh, so okay. if I use the round, so let's just do it again. One point seven six. That's the that's the decimal that I didn't put on there. So okay. plus five point five three plus one point zero one. Should get 8.30. Okay. Yeah, this so you should get 8.3. Okay, just double check, make sure you put everything in there. Mm -hmm. But 8.30 or 8.3 meters squared should be your. Yeah, looks like it should be your answer there. Well,